Hey everyone, it is Dennis Gray and it is show number 76 of the Australian Rock Show. Thank you very much for taking time to listen in. However you listen in, again, we really do appreciate it. Okay, let's rip straight into it, folks. Sydney Outfit Release the Hounds have recently released a mighty fine album called Fret Rattle. Here they are with the second single of that titled I Want More. Sydney Band released the hounds there with the track I Want More. Really, really dig that. Saw them live a couple of times back in April when they opened for Dan Baird and Homemade Sin, and they were very, very cool. A couple of the guys also do time in ACDC tribute band Thunderstruck. Folks, this is just the kind of stuff we dig. They've recently been on the road doing some shows in support of the new album. Actually, just let me look over their gig dates... Okay, one gig coming up, which is Saturday the 7th of October to be exact. Release the Hounds are on at the Lass O'Gowry Hotel in Wickham up there in Newcastle. So if you live in that region, go and show your support. Release the Hounds Band.com.au is the site you want to visit and be sure to hunt down and purchase their album titled Fret Rattle, which rocks. Look out for an interview with these guys on an upcoming episode of the Australian Rock Show 2. Again, great live band and one which you should make an effort to check out. If you're a long-time listener of this podcast, you would know that we are big supporters of Dave Evans, the original vocalist for ACDC. Now, Dave has recently been tearing it up over in Europe, playing to audiences in Norway and the UK. He has dates in Finland in October and has, get this, announced a one-off Italian show in Ragusa in Sicily on the 31st of October with Tony Correnti, who, as many of you will know, drummed on ACDC's High Voltage album. Man, that would be a pretty special gig to check out. So if you're listening in from Italy, and according to our stats, we get lots of traffic from that part of the world, make an effort to go see some Australian rock and roll royalty when they hit Italy. Very, very cool. Facebook.com forward slash Dave Evans Rocks for more info. Should we play some Dave Evans? Why the hell not? As I've said previously, Evans has a great back catalogue of rock and roll, which is well worth discovering, especially his recordings with Newcastle Outfit Rabbit. Both of their albums are rated very, very highly by the Grey Brothers, and they still sound so great. What the hell? Why don't we crank some rabbit-styled rock and roll? TV? Check. Cherry Cheer? Check. Let's go rock and rolling tonight. Lifted from Rabbit's self-titled album, released in 1975. That was Rabbit with Let's Go Rock and Rollin' Tonight. I've always liked the sound which guitarist Mark Tinson gets on that recording, by the way. And folks, if you don't know about Rabbit and indeed the two records they made in the mid-70s, consider that your homework for this show. And let me reiterate, there is so much more to Dave Evans than his time in ACDC, so make an effort to search out his material. A good place to start is by downloading the detailed interview we did with Dave back on show number 13. Incidentally, you can find that episode along with all our previous shows on our YouTube channel, which is just another way you can hear Australia's loudest and proudest rock and roll podcast. Now, another guy who we are big supporters of is Gwyn Ashton. And folks, I like to think that after over 30 years of buying and dissecting rock and roll music, we can point you in the right direction towards genuine artists who never fail to deliver the goods. The great Gwyn Ashton is indeed one such artist, a guy who has a huge amount of talent and who continues to tour the planet. Go see him live and you'll know why he has such an army of followers. Gwyn has a brand new record out this month titled Solo Electro, which is already lodged in my car stereo on autoplay. And folks, I'm indeed practicing what I preach by having the volume cranked and the windows down, educating the masses with tunes like this. Lifted from his brand new album, Solo Electro, that is Gwyn Ashton with the song She Won't Tell Me. Man, oh man, I really dig that. And I reckon many of you out there will too. GwynAshton.com. Write it down or type it in now. Cannot endorse this guy enough. And as I've said previously, Gwyn Ashton will restore your faith in rock and roll. He is indeed a road warrior who plays all across Europe. And the good news is... He has gigs booked in for Australia later this year and into 2018 too. Caught up with Gwyn back on show number 55 of the Australian Rock Show and had a good chat. 
Go find that if you haven't already heard it. It's one of my favourite episodes. All right, guitarist Joe Matera has been on the Aussie scene for some time and also has new product out. Later this month, his new EP titled Heart of Stone is released, which is Joe's fifth studio outing. This new release also includes the tune Fallen Angel, a song which was recorded some time back and a song which we're going to crank right here and now. Joe Matera there with the track Fallen Angel. Really, really like that. That song was released on Joe's album from five years back titled Creature of Habit and has just been repackaged in his brand new EP titled Heart of Stone. One of the most melodic and stylish guitarists I've heard, says Steve Harley. Damn straight. Very classy. Here's a fun fact. I know that Joe has previously recorded with Ash Naylor. My brother and I dig Ashley's work with both Even and also The Grapes. And in fact, Joe Matera and Ash used to gig around Melbourne many years back as an acoustic duo called Radio City. Anyway, folks, joematera.com is the place you should head to online, especially if you live in Sweden, because I know that he's got some shows lined up in Sweden for October. Very cool. Okay, folks, why don't we read over a couple of recent show reviews, starting with this one, which is a five-star review on iTunes from Solway84, who states, This is a well-put-together show, very interesting, and it's great for introducing you to new music and some bands you may not be familiar with if you're living in the UK. Thank you, Solway84, who obviously listens in from the UK. Really do appreciate that review. Now, this comment comes from Bob Yates, who left a message after hearing the previous show, which was the interview we did with the great Rick Brewster from The Angels, which reads, Great interview as a result of intelligent questions. Most enjoyable, and thanks for the compliments on the book. Bob, as many of you will know, is the author of the recent book on The Angels, which is a fantastic publication, and as I've mentioned, a book which is long overdue. Thank you for that comment, Bob. I'm glad you enjoyed our interview with Rick. Have had lots of positive comments online about that particular show. A recent one on YouTube from Penelope simply states, A great interview indeed. Personally, it was an honour to chat with Rick. Could have chatted with him a lot longer. And I know that Christmas is three short months away, but that Angels book would make a great gift for the rock fan in your family. If you too are digging our show, leave us a comment via email, australianrockshow at gmail.com. We're on Facebook and Twitter, and of course, you can review us via iTunes. Now, we also received a donation recently from an Australian Rock Show listener named Gavin Rennick. Thank you, mate, for your positive comments as well in your email, which really means a lot. Very happy that you are out there listening in and digging the show. Folks, as I often mention, there is a donation button on our homepage at australianrockshow.com. The donations help us to keep the lights on, and whatever is received goes straight back into producing this podcast. If you donate five bucks or over, we play you a song of your choice, and Gavin has indeed requested something pretty cool which is Nothing But You from Cold Chisel. As Gavin correctly states in his message, written by the late, great Steve Presswich, great track, which never gets any airplay. Mate, I totally agree. More people should know about this song. It's a track which, although included on the 1994 Teenage Love album, was floating around a decade or so beforehand, around the time that the 20th century record was cut. Steve Presswich wrote some damn fine songs throughout his career, most notably, I guess, When the War Is Over, which most people know. And this one, Nothing But You, sung by Ian Moss, by the way, is another great tune of Steve's, and here it is now. Listener request there for Gavin Rennick, which was Cole Chisel and the track Nothing But You. That song, by the way, was lifted off their 1994 album Teenage Love, which was a collection of demos, outtakes and the like. All right, folks, let's finish up this show. No interviews on this particular episode. I just wanted to catch up with some new releases, which I wanted you all to hear. Be sure to follow up on anything you've heard on this show, which you liked, and purchase the music. Support the artist. AustralianRockShow at gmail.com. That is how you can reach us. AustralianRockShow.com is our online home. All the past episodes are there for you to check out. And all the info on how to download and stream our podcast can be found there as well. Thank you once again for listening in, folks. I spoke about Ashley Naylor on this show, 
which makes me think we should close out with something special from him. Ash, along with the super talented Sherry Rich, is part of the very classy Melbourne duo known as The Grapes. Now, The Grapes have put out a couple of releases which are damn impressive. They cut a self-titled album back in 1999 and four years back released the album Western Sun. From the album Western Sun, we will close out with the track Lily Darling. Until next time, folks, this is Dennis. Out.